Hi, this is Mike from Crazy Minnow Studio. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate our Morph Mixer tool for Unity. Morph Mixer is a Unity asset that allows you to combine one or more blend shapes to create new blend shapes directly within the Unity editor. If you're not familiar with blend shapes, sometimes referred to as morphs or shape keys depending on the application you use to create them, they provide a simple mechanism to animate a set of vertices from one point to another using a value range from 0 to 100 or off to on with progression steps in between. Morph Mixer simplifies blend shape animation in Unity by reducing complex multi-shape expressions down to a single blend shape. The end result is a character that's easier to set up and manage, and blend shape animations that are more efficient. I'll be demonstrating the animation of a complex multi-shape smile expression using an Adobe Fuse character. I'll first demonstrate what's required to animate this smile without Morph Mixer, then I'll use Morph Mixer to simplify the process for comparison. Fuse characters, like many character system models, have multiple skin mesh renders, each with its own set of blend shapes. Our smile expression uses a staggering 12 different blend shapes from the body and eyelash skin mesh renders. I've prepared two animation scripts, one for each scenario. Let's first take a look at the process for animating all 12 blend shapes on two skin mesh renders without using Morph Mixer to simplify the process. Here you can see that we're using 10 blend shapes set to various maximum amounts on the body skin mesh renderer, and another two blend shapes on the eyelash skin mesh renderer. Since we're managing so many blend shapes for this simple expression, the code is bulky, less efficient, and you can easily see what a pain this could be to set up and maintain for a collection of different facial expressions on multiple characters. Let's link in our skin mesh renders and have a look at the results. Now let's simplify the process with Morph Mixer. First I'll stop the editor and remove the test script. You can download and install Morph Mixer as you would any other asset from the Unity Asset Store. And once installed, you can open the editor by selecting Window, Crazy Minnow Studio, Morph Mixer. I've already installed it on my system. When Morph Mixer opens, you're presented with the Setup tab and a wizard-like workflow that walks you through the process. For step one, simply drag in a game object that contains a skin mesh renderer component that has one or more blend shapes. In this case, we'll start with the body. Morph Mixer is non-destructive. It does not make any changes to your original mesh. Instead, it creates a perfect copy mesh asset and performs modifications to the copy. By dragging in the body, we have fulfilled the requirements of step one and can continue on to step two by selecting Copy Mesh. Select a location to save the mesh copy, name it if you like, and select Save. Morph Mixer has created the mesh copy and assigned it to the skin mesh renderer's mesh field automatically. The character we're now looking at in the background is actually the MM body mesh copy that we just created. Now we can move on to the Mixer tab and create our first new blend shape. From the Mixer tab, we can set a few Morph Mixer property preferences, delete blend shapes, load presets, I'll talk more about this later, and add blend shapes to create presets and, of course, new blend shapes. I'll add the 10 body blend shapes used in our smile expression. Here I selected each blend shape and the percentage to use to make up my smile expression. 
You can toggle preview on or off to see what your expression looks like on your character. Delete all shapes from the shape list. Save a preset of this shape if you want to add it to other characters of the same type. Or create a new blend shape using this mix. I'll do that now to add a new blend shape called Smile. If we have a look at our blend shape list on our body skin mesh render, we'll see our brand new smile blend shape listed alongside all our existing blend shapes. And if we set its value to 100, we can see that it includes the same smile expression as our previous 10 blend shapes. Since our smile expression includes an eye squint, We'll now repeat the process on our eyelash skin mesh renderer so that we have a corresponding smile blend shape. I'll set our new smile blend shape back to zero. Select the setup tab and drag our eyelash game object into the game object field for step one. Now I'll copy the mesh as we did for the body Then move back to the Mixer tab to add our shapes. I'll use the same name I did before and create the blend shape. And once again, if we have a look at the eyelash skin mesh render, we'll see we have a new smile blend shape. And this will be subtle, but if we set it to 100, the eyelashes squint just a bit to follow suit with the eye squint. Let's set that back to zero. Now we can close Morph Mixer and activate the same smile expression using only two blend shapes and one value instead of the 12 blend shapes with several different values used previously. I'll add the simplified script and we can have a look at the results. I mentioned the preset system earlier. Let's take a deeper look at that now. I'll reopen the Morph Mixer editor link in the body and move directly to the Mixer tab. Morph Mixer comes with several optional presets for our Salsa lip sync system found in the Morph Mixer presets directory. But I'll load up a saved preset for our smile expression for demonstration. Simply drag a preset into the preset field and select Activate. If this were a different Adobe Fuse character, we could now add our smile expression with only a few clicks. Thanks for watching. We hope you're as excited about the possibilities Morph Mixer brings to the table as we are. Good luck and happy mixing.